Hello, do you have astigmatism and are planning on cataract surgery? This video is for you. Come along. Okay, well, we made it to the office. I'll take a mask off so you can see me. Uh, we're gonna be working on cataract planning, cataract preparation for surgery tomorrow. It's Sunday and uh, come along. I'm Dr. Tokuhara, ophthalmologist, cataract surgeon in Rancho Mirage. Today is Sunday, the day that we go over all the calculations for cataract surgery for the upcoming week. I spend a lot of time going over the data to have the best surgical plan possible. Today, specifically, we're going to be talking about astigmatism as it relates to cataract surgery because nowadays when we do cataract surgery, we don't just want to correct cataract to remove the haze, we also want to correct the refractive error to give that best clarity of focus afterwards. And to do that, we use an astigmatism correcting lens implant. First off, let's talk about what is astigmatism? What really is it? And how does that really matter for my vision? To me, the best analogy to understand astigmatism is to think about your reflection in a mirror. When you look at your reflection in your bathroom mirror, you can see the left, the right, the top, and the bottom of your face without any distortion. Now imagine taking your bathroom mirror and curving it, warping it from the edges inward, almost like they do at the carnival rides or the, the funny house mirrors that you see at some of the carnivals. When you warp that mirror, now your image in the mirror is going to be stretched in one area and squashed in the other, and in a way that's what astigmatism is. It causes warping and stretching of the image that we see. We can correct astigmatism with glasses or contacts or even with corneal refractive surgery like LASIK. And when it comes to cataract surgery, we can correct it with an implant that corrects not only the cataract, but also reduces the astigmatism as well. We take all the numbers and the measurements that we have from cataract surgery, the corneal shape, the biometry, we look at the lens shape, we look at the length, the biometry of the eye, and these numbers we place through our computer calculator and that lets us know how much power to use. The astigmatism implant is, is interesting. It has a specific axis or an area that we want to rotate the implant. When it's placed into the eye, we rotate the astigmatism implant or the toric implant so that way we can neutralize all the astigmatism in the same way you can do with glasses. That toric lens has been around for a long time and it's the best lens to use even if there is macula pathology like macula degeneration or epiretinal membranes. This astigmatism correcting lens helps to give you that maximum level of vision for distance uh, with less need for glasses. So here's a model of an eye so we can go over some of the details about cataract surgery with an astigmatism implant. At the front of the eye here, this is the cornea. That's the clear part of the eye where people put the contact lenses on. If we spin the eye over to the side on side view, you can see the iris. That's the brown or blue color part of the eye. Right behind that is the lens. Now when we're born, that lens here is crystal clear like this. You can see through it. Through time, that lens that we have in the in the eye gets cloudy. And that's basically what a cataract is, a cloudy lens. It's hard to see through a lens that is cloudy like this. Behind the lens is the retina. These are the blood vessels and the optic nerve in the back of the eye. So front to back, that is the eye. During cataract surgery, we take this cloudy lens, we remove it, and then it gets replaced with a crystal clear new artificial lens such as this. Now look at that lens. There are there are two little arms on it. The arms are used inside the eye. They hold it in position, like so. 
So those two little arms, if you notice, they have markings on them. They look like little dots. Those dots mark the angle that the astigmatism lens should be placed. And during surgery, after it's in, in position, we go ahead and rotate it around inside the eye surgically. It's rotated, and as it's rotated, it neutralizes and corrects the astigmatism. So after that cataract's been removed, you have the new lens that corrects astigmatism, and now you have focus of vision. Next, let's talk about what is astigmatism when it comes to your glasses, your prescription of glasses, and I'll show you an example here. So this is a test prescription I printed out so we can talk about prescriptions and astigmatism. You can see there's three different numbers here, sphere, cylinder, and axis. These are the prescription. The add, this is the add power on the side. This is for the near vision portion for patients that have presbyopia that need either bifocals or progressive glasses. The first number is sphere. This is for the correction. And when you see the minus symbol like this, that means you're nearsighted or myopic. If we had a plus symbol there, you would be uh, hyperopic or farsighted. The next two numbers, cylinder and axis, these numbers are astigmatism correcting. Cylinder is the amount or how much astigmatism is in the eye. And the higher the number here, the more astigmatism correction that is needed. This next number is the axis, or this is the, the rotation, the area of astigmatism that we have in the prescription. These two numbers combined are what give us the amount and ro rotation or axis of astigmatism that we need to correct. So now that you can see the prescription of astigmatism in glasses, we're going to talk about the astigmatism that we find in someone's corneal topography and how that relates to cataract surgery for the toric or astigmatism correcting implant. So here's an example patient having surgery this week. You can see the topography or shape of the cornea. The refractive map here shows that the top part of the cornea and the lower section of the cornea have a different curvature than the two sides. This creates that propeller or figure eight shape that shows astigmatism. By using this technology to correct not only the cataract, but the astigmatism, we refine it with the aura, and that helps us to make sure we have the very best focus and vision for cataract surgery. Thanks for watching this video about astigmatism and cataract, and if there's any questions, write them down in the comments, and we'll go over it in one of the future videos.